200 miles to the east is John Reeves, owner of the Fairbanks Gold Company. He's spending his summer prospecting thousands of acres of his land to find an area worth mining. And he's relying on his kids to do all the work. Lou, just leave it open. Normally, he turns to his archive room full of treasure maps to lead to gold. But today, he's letting history be his guide. Within thrown distance is an area of unmined ground with 60,000 ounces of gold in it. We know it's there. But the problem is, it's 130 feet deep. You see those pipes sticking out of the ground? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These pipes were hammered in by miners decades ago. To prepare an area for dredging, they needed to thaw the frozen ground. Points were driven down to bedrock, and water was forced through the hollow pipes, slowly thawing the surrounding gravel. Today, I want you each to go over to that field behind me and put stringers on every pipe that's sticking out of the ground, OK? Mm -hmm. So when I send people in here, they can look out there and see it. How do we get over there? Can you guys swim? What? I want you to walk down this road. Oh. <laughs> and right down here, you can cut across and hit every one of those pipes. Go. John Reeves doesn't want to dig for gold that far below the surface. This isn't the kind of deposit that's easy to do. The gene pool of people that are capable of doing that is pretty limited. The older I'm getting, I don't want to work harder. I want to work a little bit smarter. Marking these poles is like putting an X on a treasure map. While the Reeves deal with gold below the ground, the Reeves kids continue with the task at hand. Go. Flagging thaw poles that lead directly to unmined gold. They're on 16-foot centers. If John Reeves can prove there's enough gold buried beneath the ground... Go a little higher on the second tail. He can flip this land and make a tidy profit for doing practically nothing. Uh, how come you guys haven't gone all the way down to the end? I'm, I'm just thinking back there. It's the kind of shrewd business move that's made Reeves an Alaskan success story. The guys I talked to over the weekend want to come look at it. They could have driven right by here and never seen this stuff. It's going to be hard to drive by here now and not see where the thaw field is. While the Reeves kids finish up. Yeah. yeah. Hello, girls. Hey. What'd you guys get done? I wrote down about 20 pages. Jesus. <laughs> John's archive room is his own personal bat cave, filled with old maps and blueprints from decades ago. His property has been mined for over 100 years. But he's certain the old timers left plenty of treasure behind. He just has to figure out where to look. Daughters Jordan and Maria are one step ahead and are excited to show Dad their latest discoveries. I'm learning how much information is in the actual archives. And the files that Maria's going through are just incredible. They're filled with detailed information about mining in the past and what they've left behind. And that's information that we need. Jordan identified an old drift mining area. In drift mining, the old timers would tunnel into the permafrost and use a series of buckets to bring pay dirt to the surface. Here's the road that goes in. Mm -hmm. So then we drive across here where the road turns to the right. We're going to go look for gold over there. So we're going to go check it out. And John Reeves continues his search for the mother load on his property. Go a little higher on the second tail. Outside of Fairbanks, John Reeves just got a hot lead on some gold. But we got to get all the way around here. Earlier in the day, Jordan and Maria pinpointed an area that really got John's attention. Here's the road that goes in. We're going to go look for gold over there. John and son Kinsey hit the highway to investigate. This road could lead to the mother load, but there's only one way to know for sure. We're going to go sample the out of it. We have the gold in the ground safe place for it. Our challenge is to see if we can mine it at a profit. And we need to go down another 200 yards. Oh, oh uh, when uh -oh. did this happen? There's a washout here. The way it's been raining, like this month, who knows? It could have just happened last week. Don't get too close, dude. You know, the weather up here can be frightful. 
and oh, so not delightful. <laughs> and stuff like this does happen. In Alaska, the road to riches could be paved in gold, or it might not exist at all. It's just the littlest things that can cause your whole operation to go to And when it goes to it goes there quick. It can go upside down in a second.